Hey there everyone, welcome to another video of Fox Android. So in this video we are going to look for a solution of a method that has been deprecated and the method is start activity for result, right? This method is widely used in our course because this is the method that we were using if we expect any result out of an activity, right? For example, if we have to uh, choose an image for the profile picture then we need to call this start activity for result right and if we want to choose some documents anything for which we need some result we used to use this method right but here you can see in this code this method has been used but a warning is thrown that this method has been deprecated i've already provided a solution for the kotlin version but many of you have commented to give the solution in java as well so in this video we'll be looking the solution using java as the backend language so let me just quickly demonstrate what is this app that will be taking as a demonstration purpose right so let me just quickly open this so this is the app the basic purpose of this app is to pick an image and show that image inside our app so let me just show you so when i clicked on this button i just call this method start activity for result and when i choose the image this callback method has been called on activity result and the image has been set to our image view so now we will not be using this method we'll look for the solution the solution or the alternate that the android has provided us so without much ado let's get started So guys if you know this channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and press the bell notification icon for receiving notification of the upcoming videos and by the end of the video if you like the video make sure to hit that thumbs up button as well. So okay guys this is the old code that we were using so let me just delete this so this is the on click method. Let me delete this right and let me delete this on activity result as well. So what is the solution for this start activity for result? The solution for that is we have a method called a register activity for result. So let us just declare a variable for that. So activity result launcher, it is called activity result launcher. And here you have to pass the type of the result that you are expecting for in this example, we are expecting a URI. So it is a string type, right? String. So let me just name it as M take photo. Okay, we have this uh, typo. We have declared the variable. Now inside on create method, you have to register the activity for result. So let me just show you how to do that. So M take photo. This is the reference variable for that. So is equal to register for activity result. Right. So the very first argument we are going to pass is what is the purpose of this? So activity result contracts dot get content because we want to get the content out of the new activity. So we'll just pass this and the second method is nothing but a callback method, right? You can just consider it as on activity result that we are using. So let me just close this. So this particular method will be called this callback method will be called whenever user taps on the image that he has selected from the new activity right and we'll get the result in the form of a ud so what do we want to do with that we want to set binding dot image view dot set image ud and we will pass result right you can see the amount of code has been tremendously decreased right we have to write a very few lines of code and we are done with that so the last thing we are going to do is we have to call this we have to launch this activity result launcher inside on click listener right so here this is the on click listener whenever user taps on the button then this particular callback method will be called so we have to launch this so m take photo dot launch and inside this we have to pass a parameter and the parameter that we are going to pass will let this code know that what type of data we want we want image so what will pass image slash star star means all all format of images that are available right so i guess there is some we need to put one extra bracket i guess yeah we're done with that so let it let us just take a quick look that what we have done we have declared activity result launcher then 
the act the reference variable for activity result launcher refers to this particular method register for activity result the very first argument that we passed is activity result context dot get content that because we want to get the content and the second thing is the callback method here we'll get the result in the form of URI. we have set the result to our image view and then we have launched this inside our on click listener now let us just quickly install this app to our cell phone and check if this code works fine or not right so okay guys the app has been installed let us just check if it works select the image and it works perfectly fine right so this is the alternate for our start activity for result deprecated method i hope that you guys have understood the code but still if you have any doubt you can always ask me in the comment section you can dm me on instagram the instagram username will be there on the screen right now and if you like the video don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and in case you want to this channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and press the bell notification icon for receiving notification of the upcoming videos so that is it for today's video see another video bye